excited to have you here. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Yay! I'm on your show. Yes, right? go for That's it. crazy. Go for it. It. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, so, so excited. Okay. Yes. So you've done a lot of things already. Let's let's go back to the beginning. Okay. When did you know you you wanted to become an actress? You know what? I never knew that it was an actual career that I could have. You know, when you're growing up, you hear the typical, you know, lawyer, be a lawyer, be a doctor, yes. be a teacher. So I, I thought I was going to be an attorney because I was really great in literature and debate and all those types of things. But then I started getting into theater and doing school plays. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what is this? I yeah. love it. Right, right, and right. I just loved being a part of the whole production, building the sets, being in the chorus, then getting a chance to move up to lead roles in the play, and mm -hmm. just that whole process. And I said, you know what, I I'm going to just keep doing it. And mm -hmm. I kept doing it all throughout elementary, middle, high school, college. Then I did community theater in Atlanta and okay. now branched into film and television. Okay, let's shout out your high school. What high school did you go to in this ATL? Mayretta High School. Okay, Marietta. Marietta is in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Marietta is in the building. Okay, so since you wanted to be in the arts, did mm -hmm. you get any pushback from your family? Like, oh no, we want you to do something else? Mm -mm. Or they were supportive? No, um, yeah, they were supportive. I don't think my mom knew just how serious I was like oh, okay. because she had seen me grow up in musical theater my whole life mm -hmm. so I think she just thought oh you know my daughter's she can sing and dance and act and it's like a hobby thing she likes right, right, right. so she because I went to college and she was like yeah she's gonna be a lawyer <laughs> and then I was like oh, mom, I'm taking a break from college and wow. I want to explore acting and right. of course she was just like what right, right, are you kidding right. me like you're a full scholar you're just gonna right. Throw your scholarship away mm -hmm. to explore this acting thing that, and she was like, "Do what you want to do, Jasmine." Right. So, but right. even now, even now, after everything I've done, sometimes she'll be like, "You could still go back to college." Does she? <laughs> yes. I'm like, "Mom, we're, okay. we're past that. Right, you're good now. We're far gone. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah. So, what was your first major breakout role? My first major. You know, I don't think my breakout role has happened. Oh, okay. I don't think it has happened yet. I've been mm -hmm. really blessed, right? And I'm grateful for every. You've been on Fox. You've been on, yes. you know, some major Drumline. Mm -hmm. some good, that was some a great role. Things. So, what is it like working with Queen Latifah? Oh, she's. You know, I love anybody I've been around that caliber. Like working with Martin Lawrence, Queen Latifah, mm -hmm. uh, Danny Glover. I've just worked with, been blessed to work with some really great people. And right. the thing that I see in common, that common thread, mm -hmm. there's a humility there. Mm -hmm. And there's just like a real groundedness there, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and that's what I took from all of those legends that I worked with. Right. Love it. So Saints and Sinners, mm -hmm. you have this amazing character there. Tell us about your character on Saints and Sinners. Yes. Well, we're in our third season. Mm -hmm. Holla. Thank you Shout to all to the viewers. The network that it's yes. on. Yes, Bounce TV. Yes. yes, Bounce TV is a great network. They yes. always show like those classic movies that everybody loves that you can't find anywhere yeah. else. Bounce TV. They really do. Yes, mm -hmm. and um, so we're on Bounce, and we're in our third season, and it's incredible playing this character, Dr. Christy Johnson. Right. Like she's gone through this roller coaster ride for these three seasons, and just being able to play a young professional on mm -hmm. TV, a doctor, mm -hmm. a woman of color. She's a doctor. She's young, right. a millennial, right. but she still, you know, she still owns who she is yeah. and isn't trying to be anything else. Mm -hmm. And, um, but she's still flawed mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. has all these personal problems. And I've just really enjoyed going on that journey with her. Right, right. And you have a great cast of people, of course, mm -hmm. to mention the lovely lady that plays your mother. Yes. What is it like working with her? She is a diva She's a legend. in a good way, right. the positive way. When you think of like what a diva really means, mm -hmm. it's just a woman who is super talented. Right, right, okay? right. Coming to America, Miss Vanessa. Bell. Yes, coming to America. <laughs> um, and so many other great roles, yeah. um, too. But she's a professional. Mm -hmm. She does her job. Mm -hmm. She comes to work. And she looks amazing. And she looks amazing. Oh my gosh. And she's an incredible mother and wife and businesswoman. So mm -hmm. that's what I mean when I say diva. That's the epitome yeah. to me. Like, yeah. she's just the total package, like all the way around. Mm -hmm. And that's been inspiring to just be around and watch and know that you can be a balanced artist. You really can. You can have it all. You can have it all. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Vanessa Bell Calloway time. shows us that. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yes. So, okay. 
So you've done several projects, huge proje projects under your belt, and I hear you have a book. Yes. Let's talk about it. I <laughs> have a book. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's called Work, work Your, your Audition. audition. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Motivation. what can readers find in your book? Yes, it was motivation and techniques to help actors book the job. Okay. Now, I'm still on my journey, and like I said, I don't think my breakout role has happened yet. I okay. believe it is coming. It's coming. It's com It's on the way. It's running mm -hmm. towards We're speaking me. speaking it. It's coming. Yes, just like I'm running <laughs> towards it. Yeah. It's going to happen. Right. But I've just been building and building and building and building, mm -hmm. and I think that's the thing that people miss a lot of times. That's why I call it work your audition, mm -hmm. is that there's work. Mm -hmm. This is real work. Mm -hmm. And so I've just been working and working and working and building so that when those opportunities come, you know, I'm ready. Yeah. And I seize the moment. If it's for me, I'll have it. And if not, I can walk away feeling proud that I was ready. I know I, know I was ready. Okay. So um, I wanted to help share some things that I've learned over these years while I've been working mm -hmm. over a decade as a per working actor. Because mm -hmm. I see a lot of people and they want to get into art and entertainment and they want to be actors in front of the camera. And I'm like, wow, let me give you some tips, you know, right. because I didn't have anything like this when I first started. Right. I've never seen a book like this before. Right. Me neither. Yeah. And you just have to get out there and figure it out. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? I'll share with some, I'll share some tips. I don't mm -hmm. mind. Like, Mm -hmm. I hope it blesses somebody's career in a big way. All right. So for those that's watching at home, they mm -hmm. may be, you know, high school students or career changers in their 30s and 40s. It doesn't matter what age they are. What's mm -hmm. some, some basic tips you think they should know when it comes to auditioning or wanting to become an actress? Because everybody doesn't have your best interest. True. You know, we don't want them getting caught up in scams and things like that. Mm -hmm. So what are some things that they should look out for? Well, what I talk about in Work Your Audition is the process of auditioning because Auditioning is the gateway to the job for actors. Mm -hmm. Just like any other profession, even corporate America, your interview is your gateway. Mm -hmm. An actor has to go in an interview over and over and over and over again. Right. So that is the work that we do constantly. So I'm giving tips about how to make your audition the best that it can be because if you want to be an actor, you're going to be auditioning 99% of the time. Right. And how do you get over the hearing no all the time? Because I'm sure that's got to be huge in mm -hmm. order to keep going. Yes. Well, that's the thing. In work your audition, it's also motivation. Okay. So I'm giving some techniques to make your audition taping your audition and going into the room, okay. some techniques that I've learned, okay. and then also motivation, because yeah. the journey does get hard, yeah. and you hear a lot of no's. Yeah. And I share a lot of my personal stories okay. about my dish, um, different audition processes. Some of the jobs I didn't get, I go into detail, like I was on Making the Band, and I didn't make the band, and, mm. and I talk With about- With Diddy. With Diddy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I talk about that, I talk okay. about not, getting the job on national television right. like and then I talk about when I did, did get the job like in okay. drumline and how that process went so I'm sharing with you real life audition experience okay got it so guys make sure you get work your audition and uh, make sure you watch Saints and Sinners and catch Miss Jasmine Burke yes and uh, let them know how to follow you yes you can follow me at T-H-E Jasmine Burke that's at the Jasmine Burke on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and you can go to my website, jasmineburke.com. And she replies back, y'all, so make I sure she does talk back. I like to talk back. Yeah, she does.